Hello. Trying to see how I can make this work. Um, I'm I'm just going to draw you. That way, you can see a bigger image. So I'm also recording this on um, YouTube. So I'll save your uh, your uh, identity. I'm just trying to find a. I have this little thing that holds the camera up. So let me just see if I can find that. Otherwise, I'll have to. Can I hold it with? Can I do this? Hold it with one hand. We'll see if I can. How about that? Holding it with a finger. No. Hold on. Hold on. Somewhere here, I have. Somewhere here, I have a thing. Hold on. Okay, see if this works. Sagging. You know, how difficult is this? Okay, anyway, so here I'm going to start drawing, except it's very difficult because I'm also holding up the fucking camera. See if I can do it this way. Let's see if this works. I'm just going to pretend that this is it. Okay, I'm going to. Okay, now well, you're going to see sort of half the drawing because it's I'm, it's a. God damn it! <laughs> Fuck. I'm going to make it vertical. This way it'll work. Okay, so there's just, it's just, you know, uh, it drives me crazy. Okay, I'll just draw it fast because my camera stand is fading here. So anyway, this is a, a man that has tattoos on much of his body. And so it's this geo, geometric uh, crazy quilt of patterning. And if you're looking at this guy, you might not even know he's there because there's so much patterning going on. And so you sort of, you know, make your eyes Try to figure this out, and by the time you figure it out, your nose is almost in the guy's crotch, which, you know, there are worse places for a nose to be than in someone's crotch, I guess. So we this this drawing also has a little tiny bit of product placement. So anyway, here's what I see. I'm doing. Uh, I'm working from a photograph that this person posted on Instagram. And he has one of these, one of these tattoo things. That's not the little half naked lady with the skull and the sword. It's this, this guy's tattoos are more like you took a deck of cards in a World War I era battleship and put it in the blender 
and it came out on this guy. So here is his fingers of his left hand. Here's his inner thigh right here, which is as, as of this photograph, an area that is not colored with ink. And then the mirror image on this side, the inner thigh is in fact covered with ink. So there's these calligraphic lines and you probably won't see what I'm doing here for a while, but then um, there's this really nice little curly cue here and another little curly cue there. Another one here. And then there's sort of in the shadow, there's something else here. Now, this guy also has lots of muscles, and uh, which is quite lovely to see on a human, and nice to see on a naked human. But um, when when the when the muscles are covered with tattoos or hair or other things, then the muscles are a little less easy to draw. Here's the product placement. It's the Nike athletic sock coming here. He might have a Nike tattoo somewhere too, for all I know. So let's see, we'll go back up. So as you can see how I, how we do have Kelvin Klein tidy whities here. So you see a little bit of E-I-N right here. Again, you're off camera. Damn it. You have that sort of pouchy thing here coming down. Tightly packed, shall we say? Can I say that on camera? On my YouTube station, can I can I say tightly packed? I think I can. I'm not saying anything dirty. And it goes down here into the shadows. Now, if this underies were not here, I might have to censor this from my following. But thankfully, there are under, there's underwear on here. Okay, so now what do we do? Here's there's a little bump there, a little tiny bump. I wonder what that could be. Not so tiny bump, I should say. Now, another thing that I find quite fun and I find hands like the sexiest part of the body. Yeah, I know I'm weird. The feet fetishists tell me I'm weird. Well, <laughs> do you have a mirror in your house? You even have a clue what you're saying? There's sort of this bric-a-brac tattooing here. It's hard to know when you're drawing backwards like this what it is. I'm drawing the light. I'm not drawing shadows. I'm drawing the light instead of the shadows, instead of the dark. So you're sort of watching me build, build a drawing entirely backwards of how you normally 
You're not even seeing what I'm doing. God damn you. <laughs> I'm off camera. I'm looking at two different broadcasts going on, both live, one to YouTube and one to Instagram. So consequently, I'm... My... My hand is off camera on one and on camera on the other, and I continually having difficulty. Okay, so here's the lower abdomen here with these sort of cuneiform like wedge shaped things, and then some more stuff here and some more other stuff there. Then we've got sort of a southwestern Indian basket sort of or pottery pattern motif going on here. And you have little squares that look like sprockets in a movie film going here with more crosshatchy bits. And again, it's it's hard to, you know, if you just looked at any part of this, you wouldn't you wouldn't know what you were looking at because there's like if I showed this to someone, if I showed this to this guy's mother or this guy's tattoo maker, they might not even recognize that it's a human, let alone a handsome human with beautiful tattoos and muscles and all this other stuff. There's a flower here and one more little things and another zigzag here. But this sort of tattooing, I told the model earlier today, reminds me of the World War I era battleship razzle dazzle painting that they did to, to um, battleships to keep the submarines from sinking them. Now, it wasn't to make them harder to see, because conceivably you could see something that was brightly colored in black and white checks and stripes and stuff on the ocean, rather than something that was painted all gray. But this was very hard, or it was supposed to be hard for a submarine commander to look through his periscope as this, you know, the submarine is bobbing around like this and up and down in the waves and the um, battleship is, you know, covered with all this stuff. And you can't tell even which is the front of a battleship when it's covered, colored like this. So you end up it made it very difficult for them to figure out how to fire their torpedo. Are they going in a straight line in that direction, or are they headed in a slightly different direction? So I, I did. I read up on these things, and it was. I think the jury was out on whether they actually it actually succeeded in saving uh, shipping because they. They didn't do it enough um, to do a, s a proper study, I guess, you know. Um, but it was, it's, it's, I would think it would be difficult for a submarine on a calm day with a big sign saying, sink me, shoot me, you know, hard enough to make aim a freaking torpedo. So something like that, but to aim one that is all colored like this and different patterns and stuff, I would think that would be very difficult for for Das Capitan to torpedo los it correctly and shoot the bejesus out of that. Um, tanker. Well, believe it or not, 
this is a picture of a person. Can you tell? Can you tell that? Um, the person in question said it's okay for me to say who he is on Instagram. Um, he is Damien X Dragon, I think is the name. So you can look him up. And this is the most recent picture he posted. So you can see the actual thing. In fact, I could probably show you the actual thing here. If he says it's okay, we'll wait to see if, if Damien is in the room. Is it okay for me to show the photograph that I'm working from? Correct. It is correct. So here is the photograph I'm using. I'm turning it sideways here so you can see it. Um, now, for me, drawing tattooed people is not easy because the pattern flattens out the figure. And so how do you add dimension to it? And that's the hard part, because if you start adding It's just, it's not easy. I'll just put it that way. Um, but that's not, that's not the model's job. That's my job. My job is to, 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 to do it, to make it work. Here's that bulge I was talking about. So if this guy were posing in front of me in real space, in real time, I might spend a long time trying to come up with lighting that would, I mean, the lighting he chose here is pretty damn good, but it is, it's not easy to draw. I've seen other people draw tattoos and they're really quite, I mean, tattooed guys, and they're quite fun because they're, some do it in line rather than in value. So there's essentially an outline of a figure. I mean, think of a, this is, I'm simplifying it here, but think of a coloring book that has just the lines around every part of him and every part of the of the uh, every element of the tattoo and um, it's very flat because it hasn't been colored in but um, and some people can by thickness of the darkness of the pencil line can come up with really beautiful versions of a tattooed figure um, and it looks really good many many different styles of rendering so you also have you know bed bedding here that has wrinkles and stuff in it shadows on that so how does this look I think I need to lighten this area up so that this hand comes out more. But then area right here, this is all mixed up because there's all sorts of patterning and each of the lower knuckles has uh, images on it. Then you've got the knuckles themselves, not the knuckles, but the lowest part of the finger.
I made these too light, I think. So what do you think, guys? How many minutes has this been? It's been 20 minutes, but it took me a while to figure out how to make it go. So here you go. I'm showing this to the YouTube audience. Fix this right here, though. This is calling attention to itself too much. So we have product placement. We've got the Nike sock, the um, Calvin Klein tidy whities. What else do we have here? Who knows? A hot stud. Okay, see you later. Oh. oh, thank you, Melissa. I'll catch you later.